Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for January the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled A Starry Night of Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, an image taken, as it states, in Iceland, and looking out up at the sky, we see the bright green glow that is the aurora. Now, aurora are caused when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field and then are brought down, focused down towards the magnetic poles of the Earth. So we will see them primarily at regions of very high or very low latitude meaning a very high positive or very high negative latitude, so near the poles, so near the Arctic areas and near the Antarctic areas. Those are where we will primarily see them. Aurora are very rarely seen at tropical latitudes. So their magnetic field is much stronger there. The particles cannot penetrate and hit the atmosphere. So you do not see the aurora in places like Hawaii or other tropical regions. And here we can see the aurora when those charged particles strike the Earth's atmosphere. They cause the atoms to glow. So they will excite the atoms and cause them to give out distinctive colors associated with uh, their whatever their specific atomic type. And in this case, we're seeing the emission from oxygen atoms. When oxygen atoms are excited, they will give off a green glow. And that gives the aurora this very green glow that we see here in the sky and then reflected down in the lake below. So in this case, it gives us a pattern of almost a ring around. So we can see that there. We can also see it again down below reflected in the lake. Now we can also, in between, in between the aurora, we can also see our Milky Way galaxy stretching across the sky. The Milky Way is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. So there are actually many billions of stars within the galaxy, and they're all so close together that we see them only as a faint glow. Um, and we also see that they are there are some darker patches in them, and those are darker regions that will that are caused by dust. So they would actually, if there were no dust, be much brighter areas. Those are simply the areas where the dust is being blocked from, is blocking the light from reaching us, and therefore we they look a lot darker. But it doesn't mean that there's no material there. It simply means that we are unable to see that using traditional methods. So here we can see both the aurora uh, stretching around very brightly, giving us a shimmering curtain of green light across the sky. And we can also see our own Milky Way galaxy stretching across the sky in a similar pattern. So that was our picture of the day for January the 5th of 2020. It was titled A Starry Night of Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Jupiter Tumult. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.